It appears Ottawa and the provinces are not meeting eye to eye. This time, the issue is the Federal Canada Job Grant. It is a joint fund to help get workers into the workforce. Both levels of government agree it is needed, but not on the system of delivery. There has been plenty of negotiations between Ottawa and the provincial governments over the Canada Job Grant. There has been some pushback from the provinces on the flexibility, or lack of it, when it comes to designating where the money can be spent. We want to see training for jobs that are needed by industry in Canada, where, where the training is really meeting a need. And so we, we just uh, set that uh, the grant as part of that. So. Uh, the money will follow uh, people that are productive in producing uh, skills that we need. A third offer came from Ottawa just last week and BC's jobs minister says there has been some give and take on both sides of the table. The fantastic part of this story is that provinces and territories across the country remain united about the principles behind the Canada Jobs Grant. So I should give Minister Kenny the credit he deserves. There has been some movement. But in our discussions with my uh, provincial and territorial colleagues, we've made it clear that we think there still needs to be some additional work done. However, the federal position on dictating how some of the funding can be spent concerns Shirley Bond, who feels individual provinces know their programs best. What concerned ministers uh, unanimously across the country was the fact that there was a move away, potentially, from providing support to vulnerable British Columbians and Canadians. And that really struck a chord with, with all of us. We have programs today, like the Blade Runners program, which is an incredibly effective program that is actually at risk. Bob Zimmer says the federal government only wants the money to go toward programs that will make the best of it. We want a program at the end of the day that really serves everybody. And, uh, you know, Shirley's a good lady and, and does good work. So we want to work together to make sure it just helps uh, British Columbians and Canadians. The current agreement with the provinces expires at the end of March, giving the parties very little time to put together a new package that is agreeable to everyone. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.